It's Friday afternoon and I'm here with gaffer Brian Page. Um, Brian, Harrogate in town tomorrow then and uh, another tough test for us. But you can look back positively on the result up at their place earlier in the season. Yeah, we certainly can and I think that's what we're going to have to draw on um, in tomorrow's game. We, we put in a fantastic performance. It was a fantastic goal by us and we showed a battling um, half-forward defensive display. And I think we're going to need that tomorrow because they're a quality side. And if we can defend well and play the way we did at, at their place, I think we can cause them problems. So, yeah, lots to draw on from, from the game at their place and we'll be trying to replicate both the performance and the result tomorrow. We've been quite lucky so far with regards to games being postponed. And fingers crossed, of course, that tomorrow's game will go ahead as planned. But how important is it to keep the games coming regularly? Is it a good thing or a bad thing um, for the squad or would they benefit from having a two or three weeks off from competitive football? Well, it's managing the squad. That's the most important thing. If, if you have a string of games, you have to manage them and make sure that everyone's um, fit and nobody's um, being overused. And if you don't have the games, it's important that you keep them sharp. Um, uh, either either through training or, or, or practice games, so it's just about game uh, player player management um, and game time management for for each player while this weather's here. So whether we have the games or we don't, we'll be just fit and ready whenever they come. So hopefully the rain will stay away and we'll get the game on. But if not, um, we'll make the decision on what we want to do with the players accordingly. And how are we looking injury wise tomorrow, Brian? Kane missed out last week through illness. But uh, I understand uh, Michael Bilt's back in training, but uh, Eugene Libertucci is still too early for him? Too early for Eugene, um, although he, he, he is feeling good and hopefully we'll introduce him to training next week. Michael Bilt is doing really well, he's still getting a little bit of swelling after, after activity, after training. Um, and Kane Shepard's um, fit and round to go. Everyone else is, is the same as Kane and, and we've got a good squad to pick from. And earlier this week, you allowed Claudio Hoban to go to Corby Town on a dual registration deal. Can you tell us a bit more about that and what your thinking is behind it, Brian? Claudio is a fantastic player. Um, everybody who's seen him play knows that. Claudio is at his best when he is he's fully fit and fully match sharp. At the moment, with the way that we're going, um, he hasn't been getting 90 minutes on a regular basis. And we just feel that the dual registration with Corby will allow him to go out, one, help them um, in, in their fight for a promotion push, but two, help him get Matt Sharp to come back and, and hopefully affect our team and our squad and, and help push push up the table um, in, a, in, a, in a month's time. So I think it's going to benefit everybody, but most of all benefit Claudio and, and the Histon Football Club by getting him match fit and match sharp in, in preparation for the, for the busy end of the season. And CD and Jai's loan period finishes after after tomorrow's game. Are you looking uh, to extend that, or will he return to Southend? cd has been magnificent since he's been here. He, he's a great lad. He, he, he's he's got the same work ethics as as, as what our players have. Um, he comes in and puts in performance after performance. So what we'll do is we'll sit down with CD. Um, we'll talk with Southend after Saturday's game and see what their thoughts are, his thoughts are, and what we want to do um, after the game. But um, I think with the quality seed he's got, he, he, he could add to our squad for the rest of the season, certainly, but we'll assess the situation after the game. And I know you'll, you'll say that you're always on the lookout for ways to, to strengthen the squad, but is there anything you can tell us about any potential signings in the near future? We've, we've been trying to add to the squad, trying to strengthen the squad for a, a number of weeks and unfortunately been turned down by clubs, by players, due, due to our, our small resources. Um, and again, today we've, 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 we've had another one we've just missed out on. And what we've got to make sure we do is, is, is stay on the look, is keep identifying the players that we feel can strengthen the squad and... Uh, and if we continue to find them and we can make it happen, we will. If not, I'm confident that the squad's strong enough. So always on the look. Who knows in the next couple of days what we might do. Um, but if the players are out there and they want to come and be a part of what we're doing, we'll bring them here. If not, you know, the squad's strong enough and we'll go with what we've got. OK, thanks, Brian. Thank you.